Hello, my name is Erin. I'm a professional copy editor who shares writing tips for the real world on my blog at erinwritewriting.com. Today's tutorial explains how to create internal links in PDFs with Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. My last software tutorial showed how to create external links in PDFs. Although the two processes are similar, the steps for creating internal links are a bit more complex. Please note that Adobe's free PDF software, Acrobat Reader, doesn't have a tool for creating links. If you need to create links but don't have access to Acrobat, create the document with the links in Microsoft Word and then convert the Word file to a PDF. To begin, select the Tools tab. Then select the Edit PDF icon in the Tools pane. Next, select the link down arrow in the Edit PDF toolbar, followed by Add or Edit Web or Document Link from the drop-down menu. Your selection cursor, which looks like an arrow, will turn into a crosshair style cursor. Left-click and hold as you use the crosshair style cursor to drag a rectangle around the text you want to turn into an internal link. When the Create Link dialog box appears, select Invisible Rectangle or Visible Rectangle from the Link Type drop-down menu. The Invisible Rectangle will be appropriate for most PDFs. If you choose a Visible Rectangle, you can also select the Line Style, Thickness, and Color from the Create Link dialog box. Next, select Go to a Page View in the Link Action section and select the Next button. The Create Go to View dialog box will appear. Scroll to the part of the document you want to link to. The Create Go to View dialog box will remain on the screen while you scroll. Note that you are creating a link to the part of the document visible on your screen rather than to specific text. When the part of the document you want to link to is visible on your screen, select the Set Link button on the Create Go to View dialog box. After you select the Set Link button, Acrobat will return to the text you linked to earlier. If you chose Invisible Rectangle in the Create Link dialog box, you'll see a rectangle around the link you created until you close the Edit PDF toolbar. The rectangle won't reappear when you open the toolbar. To ensure that your internal link is working correctly, select the Selection cursor, which looks like an arrow. Then, Click the link to ensure that it takes you to the correct location in your document. Note that the link you created won't work unless you select the selection cursor or the Edit PDF toolbar is closed. If your link is functioning correctly, save your document. The transcript for this tutorial appears on erinwritewriting.com, which is linked below along with my Adobe Acrobat playlist. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have a question about Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat that you'd like me to address in the future. And please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.